Okay, so, hi. Hi. <laughs> this is a <laughs> new speed build in collaboration with JV Epicness 2 or should I call you, would you like to say your name? Um, yes, I am Jordan Wright, otherwise known as um, JW Epicness. And um, yeah, I do speed builds <laughs> and do playthroughs where I shout at The Sims. Yeah, so. This is uh, I'm Charlotte, and I'm I'm doing the exterior, and um, Jordan um, is uh, going to do the interior. Yeah, uh, in fact, there's um one thing one of the first things I noticed about the house was um the spruce trees um next to, you know like the fern the more tropical plants. Yeah, it reminds me of um, a place um the Isle of Wight. Have you, um, it's a place in oh, England, yeah. the Isle of Wight. Yeah, I've got a pen pal for that's from there. So, yeah, uh, no, no, that has nothing to do with the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just it's real. Um, I don't know why it's like one palm tree, and then you have like five spruce trees just around it. It's weird, yeah. but uh, I love uh, that. I, I I usually do houses, and uh, now the video is just completely. But either way, uh, the I usually do houses with a tropical theme, but I th I thought yeah. this, this time I wanted to do something more forest. Yeah, it definitely suit Bridgeport, I yeah. feel. Yeah. But I, th oh, I, th I, must, I must say it was very hard to do the exterior because when I build houses, I always do uh, start with the interior, like I form the outer side of the shape yeah. of the house from the rooms inside. So that was. Yeah, that's like, what I do. That's about a bit of a challenge to do. Yeah. But, uh, well, you did a great job to do the interior, which we will all see in a few minutes. Thank um, you. I was actually, I looked back at it and I was just like, oh god, I should have did this, should have done that. <laughs> because I always look back at my bills in a second, yeah. <laughs> if that's what I, uh, I can completely agree with you because that's a feeling I have all the time when I build. Yeah. Just go back and think, why did I do that? That doesn't fit at all. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And when you look at, when you look back at speedball that you've, you've recorded it all ages ago and then you go and do a voiceover. Yeah, that, I know. That's the most painful thing. I, I did a voiceover of one of my speedables once, and the, when I come, came to the part where there are the pictures, uh, they, they came all, they have got all blurry, and I, I yeah. my commenting, which I just froze completely, and I didn't know what to say because I, I wasn't prepared for that part. I. I hate, because I'm such um, a lazy editor, um, I was going to do a speedball called Bar House, but in the end I've deleted it because I've mixed up the pictures of the living room, um, oh. and I couldn't have to go back and edit it, and then also I mixed the wrong parts of it, so basically it started off like, it goes like starting the exterior, then it suddenly goes straight to the interior, and it's back on the exterior. So, uh, I just <laughs> have to ask you, have you, ever done, have you ever uploaded like a house that you just wanted to do, but you never really felt like... No, this isn't good enough to actually upload, but you did it I have, anyway. I, I have troubles uploading, but yes, it's so. If I go back on my old Sims account, I wish I could take every house from there and just delete it. Yeah, because, uh, because I have uh, one of my speed builds. I did. Um, it was. Uh, I have one with a budget challenge. I did, and I, when I look back at the house, it's I cool. I love that. That is really nice. I like. I, tr I tried doing that, and like, it failed. Yeah, uh, I like the idea of having a budget challenge, but when I look yeah. back at the house, I just think, what the, what the fudge did I think there? <laughs> it just no, it doesn't make any sense. I was, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was, I think, yeah, I was, um, I tried to do a budget build on one of my newest speed builds, and you'll just see me just putting in catching, like, catching a couple of times, yeah. and then suddenly it's overload a bunch of times, so, because oh, I, yeah, I, I just can't keep the budgets, I just can't. Keep the budgets. That's what I do when I um because I, when I build houses I never have a household on mm -hmm. the lot but uh, it's when I go inside later to take the pictures I have a household so I've already cheated off the money so they can buy the house. Yeah. So I I don't uh, uh I don't do the family thing or I cheat off a lot of money on beforehand. Yeah, you can use like um, free real estate if you put on test and G's and able true. Free real estate, that's a good one. Yeah, I didn't, that I didn't know. I don't know all, all the sheets, but <laughs> you survive. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I didn't learn a couple of things from The Sims until I can't remember what it was about a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, okay. 
and you just and you just there, just like I've been playing The Sims ever since it came out, and I didn't know this. <laughs> it's that same thing. I I first uh, my first Sim game was the uh, very first that came in out in what was it two thousand, and um, I mean I think it came to Sweden in two thousand and one. But, uh, was that I, The Sims One? Yeah, The Sims One, and uh, uh. I, rem I, I remember the the one part I really disliked about the game was the the, the fact of how you get the babies because you ha just have to make all these romantic suggestions and all of a sudden it comes up a question that oh do you want to have a baby yes of course and there's all of a sudden a cradle in in the room <laughs> and. Um, <laughs> And the sad part is because if you wanted to move your family off of that, the baby didn't come along. So you had to wait until <laughs> you just the baby left was the baby. <laughs> the baby just disappeared, so that's one thing I didn't like, but I I've never had the Sims one. I was I was like too young to get it. I only got into it about seven years ago, so Oh. Alright. Well I was uh, I think I was about nine years old when uh, uh -huh. that came out. But yeah. It was, it was a cool oh, game. You should uh, have you, you, but uh, have you played Sims One uh, recently? No, just... I think the first ever Sims I got was a Sims Herbs for the GameCube. Uh, all right, because if you if you ever do plan on doing Sims One, you should definitely check out Making Magic. I think that's mm -hmm. well, that's at least one of my favorite expansion pack when it comes to the Sims One. Yeah. In fact, I know we're not on the interior now, but what was um. I kept trying not to do, because I have so much custom content and store content, I was trying not to put it in. Yeah. Because I wasn't sure if the store content would glitch, that's... Oh yeah, I didn't I didn't put in any store content, so... Yeah. But I... World content works, but not, like, some world content, say for example, uh, Roaring Heights. Yeah. Works. Mm -hmm. But I, tr I try, I, li I really like the store content, so I often use it when yeah. it comes to the interior, but... Not with it, like, with the exterior. I often use what comes with the expansion pack and stuff packs. Yeah, I think Into the Future is probably one of my newest favorites. Yeah, that, that I really like. I, th I thought they were going to do so you, you were able to travel into the past when that came. But yeah, I thought you'd be able to also like leave Sims in the future while you go back to the present as well. Yeah, I, so I, I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed, but yeah. Well, the plum bots are. Quite an add. Yeah, so. I, I do like that. It's sort of like the plants in, but without all the fuss. <laughs> I I, uh, I did get a plum bot, so I made him like this super chef with really good with cooking and stuff. So he, but it was quite a bit annoying because every t each time one of my sins got hungry, he began to cook a lot of meals. So this got became a lot yeah. of dishes around the house. You just have to clean. Like it. um, the butlers. As yeah, well. they do that. I never really. I th oh, was the the butler said it came with um, late, late night. night, right? Yeah, I think it's late night. I don't think I've ever got one. I've, uh, I've only used some ones. I've always wanted to have a goal to become that rich so you can have a butler, but I never really got to that part. <laughs> <laughs> I I absolutely love the back of the house, um, especially with all that room sort of on yeah. sort of Becky. Yeah, that was my idea uh, beneath where, where you later put the barbecue area. That was yeah. sort of my idea that you could use as a as a barbecue area. So yeah, <laughs> I was looking at it and I'm like, hmm, this would make a really good outdoor kitchen. And I was just like, and then I realized later on it was definitely intended for an outdoor yeah. sort of cooking area. So, uh, I was a little bit. I, I was at first when I built the house. I I was a little bit. Not sure if I was to put outdoor lighting, but I think I didn't do it well, right? Outdoor no, I, I, I think I did. And yeah. there's only one thing, I think in this house, I'm not as um, judgmental on, there's only a couple of things I've changed in the interior yeah. and all the furniture. I think just the lights on the outside, just delete a couple, that's all I do. Yeah, <laughs> because I, I wasn't really sure if the lighting was some part, if it, if it was a part of the exterior or the interior. Mm. But I, d I didn't put it because I thought, well, you can do it. Yeah. Uh. So. But what I really like, uh, one thing I like about your interior design is the dining room. With all the different chairs. 
Yeah, I was looking um, at a design website and also got inspiration from another YouTuber, Deligracy. Yeah. Yeah, the, she, um, yeah the, I haven't checked out, I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. It's, it's a girl, she's really good furniture. Because the, the only videos I have checked out recently when it comes to builders on YouTube, it's, uh, it's of course it's Sims Supply. And there's yeah. Steph, Stefo Sims and uh, that's the other Swedish guy, Krill. Um, uh. I have checked out and I've also, this, there was this Dutch guy called, I don't know, Dutch, Dutch Sims Free. Yeah. He's Massive, really yeah. good. Um, I always feel very, um, because they use so much constraint for elevation, I always feel very sort of um, oh, overwhelmed in a sense, sort of when you're building, you're just like, they've, you know, because when they make roofs just out of like the floor, yeah. and all of that. But I, I, th um, I think constraint floor elevation is a great cheat, but it's quite difficult if you re really don't know how to use it. I'm still in the mm. learning process. I, I am. I've just. I've only just managed to make one of them um, slanted roofs. Yeah, I, I, I haven't ago. managed to do those. I have. Um, no you idea. just do them little stairs with alt, and just keep doing that. Yeah. All right. Just down the side, and just expand it out by a couple, like of the room. But one thing I can also think that if you. This, it's also some quite of a challenge to not use the constraint sheet. Yes, I, I didn't realize you used it until like... I, I didn't. <laughs> I, I didn't use constraint. You, all I did on the pillars. Roof. Not, not the yeah, on, the... on the roofs, yeah, but I didn't use it in the house. Yeah. Because I thought, yeah. I thought I wanted this house, it should easily be, you know, you could extend it. Yeah. And if you have If you have the constraint sheet, in the house when if you have split levels, mm -hmm. so it just mess everything up if you if you are uh, are not used to work with the tool. So I was yeah, mostly I... thinking if I, if if other wants to download the house, or I'm trying to make it as easy as possible. I'm just hoping to sent you the right house file now because you just get I, I just had to put it like into my library and get it out the library's folder. Yeah. But it doesn't tell you the name, so I'm just I'm just like. I hope this is the right one. <laughs> and they are just probably like another one, just like one of the oldest families I've ever done, and just like a random family. Yeah. Uh, I usually do, when I shoot households to houses I'm going to upload, I'm just picking someone from the neighborhood and I'll go, oh, well, you will do. <laughs> yeah. That, I, I kind of do that. I think, I don't, I usually just um, take pictures because I'm lazy. Yeah. Um, but if I, like, do that, then I will just get, like, a family and then just, like, play... I'll just, like, sort of cheat them inside the house. I won't even make buy it. Because I can't be bothered. One thing that is great if you have a household when you do... Uh, when you move into them is because when you go into the camera mode to take pictures, you get a whole other perspective of the house. And you can... Yeah. So I, I really like the, those kind of pictures. And it shows... It Quite it removes more. grids as well, doesn't it, off the floor? Yeah, but it but, but it's not because you take it in the lib mode, so yeah, there's no things like that. Um, I, I also like the pond that you're doing underneath. Yes, I thought it was so empty beneath that little porch, yeah. so I thought, oh, have a pond. I'm not great with water, so if I get even a pond or a pool to look good, I'm just pleased with myself. <laughs> Um, I usually barely do any um, exterior work just because I really can't do it. Oh wait, is this my part where I'm just looking no, at it? No, still at my part. Um, oh right, because I, think I can the remember is the last it's... thing I do. Mm, because I, I can remember at the start I was just kind of just looking at it like, yeah, what I, should I do? I don't know, when I looked through your part after I received it, I just sat there with a complete smile on my face because it was so funny to <laughs> It's it's so funny because the, I it's it's my it's my house I built the exterior but and then it's just weird seeing someone else yes, doing it yeah I have to else think do it something out. with it it feels really weird yeah it's like it's like I get this feeling oh don't touch my baby <laughs> please <laughs> but uh, um, now we're at your part with the, the yeah with area. the exterior. I, str I did struggle with colouring and I had to go around and colour all the chairs again because I, have, I, I second guessed it and I'm glad that I did in the end. I, I really hate that creator tool. I, I have no patience with it. 
So I rarely recolor the furnishing. I just go with the what's in the basics. Mm -hmm. I think like sometimes um, it's good to do that. They're like I rarely ever do that, and I do need to do it more and make a house that the inside goes around that. I do feel yeah. like I, I you, oh, yeah. you go. <laughs> Sorry. No, no. I was just saying because I think I think you will change that green coloring of the shares. Yeah, it's the yeah. I change it for a brown. I, I think but. it's the well. My opinion. I I really like the green one because it gives. Yeah, it, light. it's vibrant. Uh, that's why I originally thought, and then I was kind of like, mm, and then I thought of the saying. I can't remember where it is, but it's something about green and red never go together, or something like that. Well, the the only thing I've learned about when it comes to coloring is that you should never mix pink and uh, red. <laughs> oh, I've seen that. It. it it makes it, um, I have actually tried doing that before, it makes it quite um, sickly in words, yeah. so I just like a bit too much, like when I mix pink and red. That's feel. I think it was funny because when I went to school, we had, uh, we, when I had uh, uh, those lessons and I learned about the coloring that you should never mix pink and red, just a few weeks after the school decided to paint every bench inside pink and red. <laughs> so basically just contradicting what they say. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I just I just I would just remember walking inside and I was like, oh my god, this has happened. <laughs> I'm just changing now um the um Yeah, um, I saw that you changed box. The, the mailbox, yeah. So but I just thought it was cool and you even changed the color of the bin outside um yeah i was kind of like oh that doesn't kind of go with it to be honest so i just went oh i'll just change it blue that's one thing i never changed the bin when i built houses i should do it because he's such a, he's such, such a boring color i, I think i think that um what you need to do is um well what i do is if it's next to a wall then i think you should color it but if, you, if it's not near a wall then you can kind of just leave it that's what i do oh okay um i wish i changed actually um you see now with the platform, I wish I changed that bedroom to a more darker colour. Oh. Yeah, because you just said a lot of blue. If I yeah, there's right. like, I was just like, maybe there's a bit too much blue. But I, I, don't think, I think it's quite charming when you have some sort of colour scheme following a certain room. I think it's, yeah. oh, it's charming. And yeah, I'm just... I had, real, I had a real struggle just choosing sort of the wall colour in this room. Okay. I, I couldn't see which, I just wasn't sure which colour would match properly. I didn't, I think it's like a pale colour, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's yeah. not some kind of beige. I think. Yeah. Uh, I, I think when it comes to colouring, I've seen some builders on YouTube that they they furnish the room first and then they colour the walls and floors. Yeah. I don't know if I did that for any of these, no, sometimes. I think, you, I think you did some mix. Oh, this shelf you did, you have um, the, a pillar and the two shelves in wood. Yeah. I really like that. I think I, it, it's um, Simlinx that did it, I think. Yeah. He did something very similar. He did like a desk with like yeah. two of them. And so I just went, oh, I'll just do one of them and have it like a sort of cantilever. Yeah, it was, I really like that, that <laughs> effect it gave. It's just, it Thank has you. this kind of, like, old feel, but still it's a little bit modern. Yeah, um, I think it's, I'm not 100% sure, I think it's called Shabby Chic, where the, or Refurbishment. Oh. I kind of like the look of that when people refurbish furniture. I think I do it in one of the bedrooms. Like, um, really old chairs and then recolor them to make them look modern. Yeah, I really like that. That, that was the, one of the things I tried to do when I had my budget chance. I wanted to use the sheep furnitures and recolor them so they look divine, yeah. but I failed totally. <laughs> I think the I think the interior is extremely good, especially with how much money you had. I really liked it. I also like the colour. Yeah. It makes the room feel more fun. Yeah. But, well, it was okay. But I I think the when your interior, uh, that one the thing that reminds me of it's it's like it's, you picked stuff from a flea market and <laughs> did yeah. something with it, and uh, it just, I really like that idea. Not um, that yeah, I, I, I watch YouTube videos, and basically there was this one which really inspired me. It was this apartment in Spain, and they just found this old chair in the side of the road, and they just stripped the wood so it's a paler colour, and then 
put a new fabric over it. It just looked absolutely amazing in the house. Yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing what you can do with old furniture. Yeah. So. And I, I, really, that... I really like the idea that you did with the, some of the paintings that you lower them, so it seems like they're yeah. leaning against yeah. the wall. Sadly, I can't take that much credit for it, because um, most of these ideas are from the Ligracy, quite a few of the interior ideas. Uh, well, but you gave me that idea, so I take <laughs> credit for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But that's the thing, you you, t you get the ideas from each other and it all goes in circles. Yeah, and I think that's a good thing because like, you can put it into new things in different ways that that person didn't do. And, yeah. Well, yeah. Exactly. Uh, I one, one idea I got from Sim Supply was that uh, when you put in a single bed that you could have this uh, like a sofa table, but at the end so it yeah. looks like the bed is, ex is extended on the side. Yeah, like you have just sort of like an extra bit. Yeah. So sort of just coming over the bed to put your things. That's also a very cool thing. So I, yeah. I have done this a few times. Um, yeah, I've seen it in one of your new houses, um, which I absolutely loved. It reminded me of something from um, an anime film I watched oh. once. It's, what's it called again? Um, it's the one where it's got water all around it. I think I've seen it. Um, you, you, I downloaded one of your house. It's got water all around it, like a foundation of water. I can't remember oh, what it's called now. Oh, that one. That was my latest one. Yeah. Oh, you meant that one. Yeah. That house. I, I really like. I really like that one. Um, it does remind me something out of um, sort of like anime, just uh, how the light flows from the house. I didn't really know what I thought. As, uh, all I, I remember when I built that house is that. I just had a picture of a house in the middle of the water, and there's this foundation surrounding it. Nothing else. It wasn't. It was reminding of an island, but not exactly. Um, um, artificial kind of island. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Sort of. Well, that that house. I really like that house. In the mm. and style of it is quite simple. Yeah, I think you've just you've used one color, but it just works so well. Like you know, one color for the exterior walls, and it just works so yes. well. I have white mostly, and I have some blue, to yeah, and wood to uh, mark out those certain parts of the exterior. But, but I, and that's what I think when it comes to tropical houses that the color of white works very uh, just works. Mm -hmm. And you also have some um, actual. Um, Benefits as well, isn't it? Like why the heat sort of reflects off the house. Yeah, it could be that, and yeah. also because in the garden there's uh, a lot of uh, plants and uh, trees and stuff that has color in itself. So, mm. oh, here's the dining table you did. Oh, the dining room. Yeah, I like. I I really like it. To be honest, I I, I definitely like. You know, the really cheap chairs. I like recoloring them because they work so well. Yeah, uh, this this was it was this particular room that made me feel like this is okay. This family has gone to a flea market and just got a lot of different <laughs> furniture to place with. Yeah, so like collected things over the time, then you just took it to here and then yeah. you know just painted it. I real I really like that idea. Um, but I, I remember, I think when you got to the upstairs, I didn't really see a bookcase. I think you did an office later, but yeah. at first I was like, why didn't you put a bookcase? You need a bookcase! Where is the bookcase? And then I saw it. I, I was, oh, oh I, okay, it's great. I have, a, I have two, I have a, there's a library and an office. There's yeah. a library on the bottom floor and then there's the office. Yeah, but you, you need, well, all I was thinking was, you need a bookcase, and you know, that's everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's like, if I if you hadn't put in a bookcase, I was almost going to go inside and edit the house myself and put yeah. in a bookcase. <laughs> um, in fact, what I'm, we, I do a lot of things in Sims that I'd never do in real life. Um, I think one of them is the mirrors by the beds, which is something that I'd never, ever do in real life. Because I'm terrified of mirrors. <laughs> well, mirrors are great, but well, I don't. I don't have a mirror, but <laughs> I, I have one in my room, but it's not facing my bed, so I'm okay with that. But I used to have in before my room got redone. I used to have like a two massive mirrors, just like right next to my bed. Uh, it's I, horrifying. I, like, I can agree with you, but 
because it might be a little bit creepy to wake up to face yourself each morning. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but I, I often do when I build Sims houses. I try to take on a realistic approach. So I go in sort of in camera mode when I build it and try to how does it work if I if I were living in this house and I was sitting in this place mm -hmm. would I want to be facing the bathroom door there or stuff like that? Yeah. I just think if it, uh, my mindset's probably not the best mindset for them, but I'm just like, eh, if it looks good, just do it. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it works. Well, I, I've heard it, uh, a lot about different people who do that approach. They just, if it works, it works. <laughs> yeah. But I'm, I'm a little bit... Uh, uh, I think uh, your approach is definitely a very, very good approach to it, though. Yeah. Because I, th I think of my sims, I think I did a house where the bathroom in the master bedroom was, it, it was open. So I was trying to go in camera mode and I was placing myself on the couch and I just saw the open door wide in right to the toilet. And I thought, do, yeah. I, do my sims really want to sit here and watch their partners take a shit? <laughs> and I thought, no, they don't want to do that. So I, tried, I had to refurnish re re everything. <laughs> That was, that was my exact, exact thought. In fact, after this video, I will actually link you to a couple of websites I get inspiration from. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, and then I think it's a YouTube channel if I can find it in my subscriptions box. So I'll try and find that, which has also a lot of good ideas. Yeah. Well, I, I, I usually write nowadays, I only watch... Well, I watch with those speed builds I watch is mostly... Steph and Sims reply, but I think when I watch Steph's move films, I just get I just get this bad conscience because she's so great builder and it, it sort of it sort of makes you feel like, <sighs> just like this feeling that <laughs> you just, I'm I can't not going to be this. that good. <laughs> <laughs> but it gives you a lot of inspiration, so yeah, I guess that's the point. I think it also gives you something you work to, yeah. as well. Exactly. And here I, I don't think I put chairs here, I don't think I keep them. I think I was going to like have some nice chairs there and then... Uh, but in the end, I think it blocked the door. I don't remember if you... I think I, I, don't, I don't remember... Oh, well, oh, this is part... oh, this is the part where it crashed. Yeah, but I have edited out that part. Uh, it was just, yeah, it was just me there for like 10 minutes, just searching ways how to stop Sims from unfreezing. It was me trying like every method possible. Yeah, because possible. when I watched it at first, I was like, okay, was he going to save it or what, what is he doing? But I thought... I, I was going to save it and it crashed just before. <sighs> uh, I, well, I've been there myself, so... It's yeah, it's just that horrible feeling of, I have to do it all again. Like That's that's just, that's just uh, that's the thing if you don't have a household when you build a house. Because it's easier to save. Yeah, you can't hurt. Yeah. So, yeah. I recognize it. Um, yeah, because I had to redo this room. Yeah. yeah, you redid one of the bathrooms in the master bedroom, if I remember. Yeah. Uh, I think it's this the library you do. Because yeah, it's kind of like a library. I mean, it hasn't. It's only got one bookshelf, but. Yeah, but it's close. It's enough. a big shelf. <laughs> close enough. I don't think anyone would have enough books to fill a full library, so... Well, you never know if you start <laughs> gathering, so... <laughs> you might fill up. Uh, actually, saying that, I have, like, I have two shelves, like, just full of bottles. Bottles? Like, just, like, because I collect, yeah, vintage bottles. Wow! I just collected them. That was, uh... I wasn't really prepared for that. <laughs> <laughs> just bottles. <laughs> just bottles. I have a no, friend just... who collects everything. There's, uh, you can collect these kind of mugs from uh, the cinema with uh, different characters from animated movies. So she has, yeah. uh, a, I think she has almost a complete bookshelf full of the different kind of mugs where there are characters on top of them. And she doesn't use them, she just has them there. And they just take up yeah. the space, and I just think, what are you doing? You just put well, them in a box. I, I'm going to actually use some of these bottles as well, because some of them are, you know, they're very decorative, but um, there's these things that I found which basically lights that also, that plug into, like, these cork things, and then you put them in the bottle, and it lights up the bottle. Oh, 
Yeah. Well, I only have books in my bookshelf, so. <laughs> I'm a li- I'm I'm the one that's a little bit more normal. <laughs> the only thing I have in what's meant to be a bookshelf is games. Oh uh, yeah, I have uh, I have another bookshelf that contains all of my movies, and there I I have uh, some some of my uh, computer games. But, yeah. Like, otherwise, I don't I don't think I collect anything else. No. I don't, I don't, the only thing I really collect is The Sims, to be honest. I mean, we found these bottles over a series of a couple of days, but the only thing I really obsessively collect is Sims. Well, I collect movies. <laughs> I own now, I think I'm up to 100 DVDs. And I think... That, that is quite a lot. Yeah, uh, yeah, but, well, if you, see, if, you have, if, you should, if you have visited my friend, she has a lot. I think they're up to uh, about 500. I but... barely ever watch movies. <laughs> I'm just... You... That's not your thing. <laughs> no, I, I don't know why. I just can't sit through... I, I can sit through some movies either with the horror or comedy. That's all I can sit through. In fact, while I was um, building this, you obviously see me going off to a, like a normal mouse. That's when I'm clicking to re- listen to um, a new horror story narration. Oh. Well, so that's uh, what that is. All right. Um, just doing the boys' bedroom. The color changes to a blue. Um, eventually, I was going to have the neutral color, but there, I just went out of blue. I, re- I remember when I watched this. Uh your part first and I came to the parts where the pictures are and you had a picture of this boys room but it was I don't know it was taking from a some kind of angle I did, I couldn't really see because I just saw the desk and it's also beds in the end and I just thought what have you what have, has he done here but when I watched the speed bill later I as, and I saw the whole room and I said oh that was pretty cool yeah, I tried to make it as much of a room I wouldn't use at all, basically, because it was like a stereotypical boys' room. I was just like, no, do something uh, I don't use. Yeah, I have. A, I, I'm not. I'm not someone who usually do big rooms. Uh, when I those rooms that are big are often the living room, the kitchen, and the dining room. But yeah, I was gonna actually fit every like every sort of. Um, non-sleeping area or bathroom area is going to be downstairs but in the end of the floor, we could have like a very large dining room um, yeah. and then we could bring the living room upstairs so we don't have to have as many bedrooms yeah well that's true yeah one of the other things I'm I never do big is bathrooms I I see a, a lot of pictures that you know have the bathroom and the uh, tub is on this kind of platform and it fills up the middle of the room, and I think it's always very fancy. Now. I don't, I don't think the tubs on the platform. It's just got like um, a, it's just got a rug in front of it, and I put candles around it. Yeah, but I've I've seen other videos and where oh, right, the, right. the platform is, and I really think it's fancy. Also, the idea you did because you put the tub, uh, it it wasn't uh, situated right with the wall, but it was it's yeah. a little bit. Uh, in the more in the middle, but I really um, like that. But if, for me, if I want to do it, it requires I had to do a big bathroom, and I never do that. So mm. I can't. In fact, it. this was originally going to be the bathroom, the office. Yeah, I thought it would be a bathroom, but then you started yeah. to put bookshelves, and I just no, this is going to be a bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can have bookshelves in the bathroom. I don't know. I've never yeah. tried. It. <laughs> you need a very big bathroom to do that in. Yeah. Well, I didn't really idea. see the point in more than one bathroom because it's all kind of closed in together. Even though it's a very large house, it's closed in together at the same time, yeah. so it's easy to get to the bathroom. So there's no use in more than one bathroom. Well, what, what, since I don't like big bathrooms, I really loved it when Island Paradise came and you have these all in one bathroom. I use them all the time. In yeah. fact, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I love them. I just put them everywhere. I just don't have any bathrooms in my household. If, yeah, that's pretty much what I do, in fact. Um, basically, if I forget to put bathroom in, I'll just put an all in one bathroom somewhere. Yeah, so I, that's why I often now I play on the houseboat, so that it doesn't require you have to do, have a big house, so I just shove yeah. them all in there. 
an excuse just to get like an all in one bathroom. But they are just good because they shower and they yeah, use the it, toilet. Yeah, the same it does time. everything. You know. It's really good. So this is one of the bedrooms you are. It's pink. Yeah, I'm, uh, in fact, I think this is my favorite bedroom, <laughs> just for the reason it has a lot of like vintage re refabricated bedrooms. Oh, yeah, you have those old, that old thingy couches and chairs. Yeah. I really like this, but I never really know where to put them. Yeah, it's just sort of like, it, you know, if it's like an open place and say if there's like a window, I think I've done it in the living room as well, you just yeah. put a couple of chairs there and just like, you can choose what chairs you want. Yeah. And here are some more paintings leaning against the wall. I really like that idea. Uh, I'm going. I'm going to try it myself. Yeah, it's very hard to find the paintings that actually will go to the floor, though. Yeah, I can imagine. And uh, that's a. Uh, have you ever had um, wish when it comes to curtains that you can uh, also line them up as you can do with paintings? You know, you can choose the height. Yeah, I, I do. Um, in fact. Uh, I was quite like annoyed with the curtains because like it was basically I had two free pieces in the bedroom and then there was like just one blank part and if I overcrossed them they glitch really bad so in the end I just left the middle one blank yeah without a blind that, that's why I yeah. often use those windows that is th those I have used now because they yeah. don't really require any curtains mm -hmm. And uh, I think you are putting the final touches before the pictures. Yeah, just put a little point up there. I think it's just like a small, tiny little plant. Yeah, it's just like a tiny plant. Yeah. I like the carpet in the living room. I really yeah, like that. Yeah, it was, it was really funky. I, that was the only word yeah. I had in mind when I, I watched yeah. it at first. It was, oh, this is really funky. Yeah. But it's a, it's a funky house you built. Or you decorate. So yeah. Um, the video is soon done. It's four minutes left. And yeah. It's basically just finishing touches and lots and lots of pictures. Yeah. I, I think, so many I think, angles. I think that's one thing too that's difficult when you build a house to know when you're done with a certain room or a certain aspect. Yeah, of I definitely think because like. Since I'm so like done it quick, like there's some parts of this house I want to change, like but then I already sent you the house file, well the video file, I already sent you the video file, so yeah. So what? So the house is, I think. Yeah, yeah just a lot of lights everywhere. <laughs> I think I was just checking everywhere out at night just to make sure it wasn't too bright. Yeah. Well, like, that's a, a, not bright enough. I think that's a, also something that's, I think, I find it difficult when I put in lights um, outside is to know is it too bright or is it not enough well, light? It, or... Yeah, and sometimes it just doesn't do anything as well. And you just think, why won't you work? <laughs> that's why I often. Um, oh, here are the pictures starting. Yes. To, um, so we have the friend. I actually really, really like this house, and I'm probably going to be playing. <laughs> I, I rarely play houses I build for speed builds. I just because those houses I build when I play with my households, I, they are not anything near this pretty. They, uh, I just build like one room and place whatever object I need for the moment. And <laughs> I've tried doing let's builds before. Um, which was never a good idea. Um, <laughs> it uh, just makes um, um, because when I commentate and I build, it basically some of reason I get really lazy with building. Yeah, I'm I'm not going to do a let's build because uh, as I'm currently I'm doing let's plays and I have a hard time keeping up that as it is. So <laughs> I need to upload some more of my let's plays as well. I have. I have to into the future and then run away team. Yeah. I have to do. I might uh. do let's play when Sims Four is coming out, but I'm not sure. Well, I'm yeah. reluctant to buy the Sims Four because of the creator style. Oh, all right. I, I oh. Oh. <laughs> and <laughs> here is the phone ringing. <laughs> yeah, Just at the end out. of the video. <laughs> oh. Well, it's, it was bound to happen sometime. <laughs> I knew it was. Um, yeah. 
Okay, uh, I'm gonna, I'll just text. Um, yeah, just do it. All right, so we have about I can't spell. I can't one spell. minute left, <laughs> and we are looking at a lot of pictures and shells and the couches that Jordan did while he's yeah. answering his text. I just, I literally, it's just like a really speedy text that was spelled really badly. It was like lots of aberrations and just, oh right. In fact, when I was like sending the message to you, I kept spelling minute wrong. <laughs> well, yeah, I I, I, I really, I, I think I never use aberrations when I text. I just, I think yeah. there's so, it's so easily you can not get, yeah. get it. So. Yeah, I tried to spell minute where it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> well, perhaps we should try to finish this up while the pictures are running. Yes. So, um, subscribe to Charlotte, and um, if you wish to, go and check out my other videos and see see if you like, uh, and if you do like what you see, subscribe because there's more coming. And uh, I will also say that, I don't know, yeah, check, check out your videos, I don't really know what more to say. <laughs> uh, I really like to do this uh, collaboration. I'm. It may take a while before I do any, anything again, but yeah, <laughs> I think this time I'll probably take more care editing. Yeah, and I will also make sure I really have time to do it. So, um, so subscribe, check out Charlotte and Jordan, and oh. there's another text. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Bye.